Hey everybody, happy Friday. Hope you guys are having a great week. This week flew by. I don't I don't know where the week went. <laughs> and and you know, Monday was a holiday. Did you guys have Monday off? Not that I really had it off and my kids did. It just feels like it happened like that. I hope you guys had a good week. This week, um, we are moving on from Halloween. I hope hopefully I've given you enough ideas for Halloween because if you're gonna make Halloween things, you have to have already ordered it or order it this week to get it in time to make all your goodies. So we're going to move on to fall and then I think we're going to finally take the plunge into Christmas. Oh, can't believe it's already that time of year. Hello. Good. It's good I, to see you guys. I see you jumping on. Let's see. All right. Now I have a new phone and it's pretty much exactly like the old phone. <laughs> you know, it's funny how they get you, right? New phone, new phone. Actually, I did need a new one. Mine was doing some really weird things, but oh, it's such a pain to switch over. I'm hoping everything is good. Everything, you can hear me, you can see me, I'm in the right place. You know, the scariest thing about getting a new phone is, will I be able to log in to all of my apps on the new phone? Because I don't know all my logins, right? Surely I'm not the only one that, <laughs> that has a hard time with that. Oh, it is scary. Luckily, now I feel like Apple has um, gotten us so far that they know who I am and they carry over the logins and they're like, oh, this is you. All right. Pretty much all of them. I haven't had any trouble yet so far, except now on my watch, it's telling me to log into apps on my watch, which I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> well, hello. It's good to see you guys. Okay. So um, let's see. What are we doing? Gorgeous leaves. This is the leaf bundle. Let me tell you, I will buy every leaf stamp set that ever comes out. I love leaf stamp sets and this one's really good. Um, I think it's good for all year round. Um, but also I love texture stamps. Um, you know, when you could just add a little bit of texture to something, a little bit of, um, you know, background or texture or pattern, um, especially splatter, which is what those are. So I love this stamp. And then the leaves, when you stamp them, they have a little bit of that splatter around them as well. Um, so they're, they're not real sharp and crisp. They're kind of, you know, like a, like an artsy type of leaf. So that's what we're doing today. The dies are great too. You can tell I've used mine a bunch. See all the, the little doodads still sticking in them. Um, and then this one, um, is good too. I, well, I'll tell you guys that story when I get to it. Um, I actually used the wrong die yesterday when I was filming the videos because this one had fallen off. I didn't know where it was. Anyway, it's found. We're good. <laughs> We're good. All right. So welcome to Facebook Friday. Um, let's see, where do I want to start? Oh, first I'll tell you, um, the retreat sold out. You guys are amazing. <laughs> no matter how many spots I um, add on, you guys answer the call. <laughs> and I'm so excited about this retreat. I got the projects all done. I hate announcing a class when I haven't designed the projects yet. Like that's too much stress for me. I wanna make sure that I have good projects before I tell you I have, I'm gonna send you good projects. I have to have them done. So when I announced it, I had done about, I don't know, 90% of them and I needed one or two more. So I got that done yesterday. The PDF for the holiday retreat is um, my proofreader has it. When she gets it back to me, I will um, list it in my PDF store and I'll, I'll let you guys know. Thanks Rita, that was sweet. Ooh, cooler temperatures in Iowa. We have a cold, a cold front coming through. Um, it's not here yet. It is hotter than heck. I went for a walk this morning. I was like, Ugh. so hopefully our cooler, it's going to be down in the 50s tonight, which is really cold for here. So <laughs> for this time of year. So yay, um, we are definitely moving into um, that season. Carla, you're so sweet. She says you haven't seen a bad project from me yet. That's because all the bad projects don't make it into the PDF. Sometimes I make three or four projects in a row and they go in the trash because I don't like them. So I have to make sure that they're good before I put them in the PDFs and the classes. Um, okay, so let's see, where do I want to start? Oh, so holiday retreat sold out, PDF is coming. Um, if you looked on my holiday retreat 
page yesterday, there were two add-on classes. There's a card class and a holiday treats class. Those classes will also be offered as standalone classes. So let's say you didn't get the retreat, you don't want the retreat, but you wanted the Christmas treats class. That will be offered as well as that uh, stamp a stack that features the, um, I can never, be jolly, that stamp set. I can never remember, I keep thinking that stamp set has the word joy in it, but it doesn't. Anyhow, um, what is available right now, those will be coming, they're not available yet. I think the PDFs are actually in my PDF store though, if you want just the PDF. Um, what is available right now is the Sweet Cloche class. Sweet Cloche, I'm ready for this class to be done because I'm tired of saying that word, it feels wrong, it doesn't feel like I'm saying it the right way, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> this class is coming up. The deadline is the 22nd, which is, next Friday. Okay. So we have one week left to register for this class. There are seven cards. Some of them are shakers. Some of them are shakers and some of them are not shakers. Okay. So, um, it's a variety of things in this class, two different stamp sets, sweets, treat, sweets and treats and sw classic cloche. Word. I don't like that word. Um, and the dies. You will need both stamp sets and the dies um, for the class. Usually I contain classes to one bundle only, um, but this time I didn't because I love both of these stamp sets and I feel like if you're going to have the dies, you need both matching stamp sets. Okay. In the class, you're going to get a box of these, which are on back order right now. But if you've registered already, don't you worry. I already have your box. And Fingers crossed, you're supposed to be back in stock next week. Um, you also get two bolts of this ribbon that is my one of my favorites and a pack of the sub Subtle Shimmer Sequence for your shakers, okay? So that's coming, deadline is Friday. They will ship the following Friday. Um, and that is that. You can click on, when I am done here, I will put the link in today's video on Facebook. Um, you can also go back to my blog. Oh, Pepper. Okay. Hold on. You can also go back to my blog at the end of today's post and, um, and get, um, the link there. You have to actually email me for that link, but it's in all the emails I send out. So if you have an old email from me in the last two weeks, it should be in there. All right. So that's that. Um, Club Create currently closed. I'm not taking any new subscriptions for Club Create. Um, because it's gotten so big. I spent this, the last three days cutting and packing um, this month's Club Create, and I literally can't do it anymore. So we're, I've got it closed for now. Um, I, it will open back up eventually. I don't know if it will open up this month. The only problem, especially this month with adding more, is that I have Club Create, and then I have the retreats to go. So I can't, you know, like, that's a lot. So I've really got to make sure that I keep everything within the limits of what I can do because I want to make sure that you get good kits and you get them on time. So I have to, I have to really just, you know, put limits on these things. But, um, as far as the, um, November's club create fixtures, the features, the whimsy, is that what it's called? Whimsy, uh, whimsical trees, whimsy and wonder suite. Um, so Club Create isn't open. You can't subscribe to the kit right now. If you're a current subscriber, you're good. You don't need to worry about it. Um, your subscription continues until you cancel it, okay? So if you're a current subscriber, you're good. Um, however, the PDF and video are available in my um, PDF store if you want that, okay? I If I end up opening it, it'll just be probably a couple of days in November and I will let you guys know. But I don't know. I don't know. You know, I gotta, I gotta make sure that I don't overextend myself so that you guys don't get something that's good. All right, Blackberry Beauty All Star Tutorial Bundle. That is this. I just right before this video sent out the PDF to everyone who ordered in the last week. If you didn't get it and you think you should have gotten it, please email me. There's a small percentage of my emails that never arrive. I have a couple of people who we actually have to communicate through Facebook Messenger because my emails will not go through. Um, so if you've ever emailed me and I didn't respond, and you emailed me again and I didn't respond, it's, I probably did respond and it's just something about your email not taking my email. I don't know. But anyways, 
<laughs> if you um, didn't get this and you should have, message, email me. And then if all else fails, message me through Facebook, okay? This is um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. It has 12 tutorials in it, um, all featuring the Blackberry Beauty suite of products. 12 different designers, Stampin' Up! designers from around the world. Um, they're really good. I always say that, but they are really, really good. This is my project this month. It's like a little basket. Um, you get this free when you spend $50 with me. And you can buy it in my PDF store for $15. Each uh, project in this PDF has a video link. So if you like videos, this one's for you. All right, so let me put that over there. And, oh, you know what? Oh, I have it right here. I wanted to show you guys, well, I'll flip the camera over and show you. Let me do door prizes real quick. Door prizes. Seasons of Fun, I swear, this is one of the best stamp sets in the catalog, and it's a, it's a um, host reward or free stamp and rewards when you spend $150, and it's so good. See how cute it is? So cute. How many of you have this? I'm wondering how many people actually get the stamp and reward stamp sets, because um, I love this set, and I would really like to do a Facebook Friday with it, but... It, I don't know. I don't know if people, you know, if how many people are actually able to get the stamp and reward stamp sets. Anyhow, Kathy Cummings and Terry Kendall. K Terry Kendall? Kendall? I have both your mailing addresses, I believe. Kathy, I have yours. I have both yours. Unless you've moved, let me know. Thank you for sharing my video. They are the winners today. I picked two people at random. And, um, all you have to do is share on Facebook or YouTube. This week or next week, I'll be giving away, and I know it's backwards, Lighthearted Lines. Can you read that backwards? <laughs> I love this one. Everything is figure outable. Figure outable. Isn't that funny? So cute. So I'll give away these two to two people who share the video. Just comment, let me know that you have um, shared the video, and I will put you in the drawing, okay? All right, good. All right, let's see. Let me put this up here. I'm going to turn you guys around because I want to show you the new kit, the new Christmas kit that we got in this last week. Um, Maria, did I get something from you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did, and I didn't pull those today to show. I'll show next week, okay? Um, okay, let me turn you guys around. Okay, new phone. Let's make sure it knows how to behave and do what I want it to do. <laughs> It's got a new case on it, and it's, I mean, pretty much the same. It's the iPhone 13. Apparently, the video quality is supposed to be much better or really good or something, but I will tell you guys about that later on because there's an issue there as well. Always an issue. Nothing's ever easy. Although, I will tell you, if you're a Verizon customer right now, you can trade in your phone and basically get a new phone for free. A $1,000 credit is what you get. So, um, okay. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. All right. So, let's see. Let me see. I'm going to put this here. Okay. We have a new kit. I can't see. Um, this has to be on my left side. Hold on. Let me make room. Um, we have a new kit over in our little kits collection online. Now, remember, our kits are only online. They're not in the catalogs anymore. They are only online. So you have to keep checking over there. And I try to let you guys know when the new kit comes out. First of all, I have to say the boxes that the kits come in are awesome. They're paper pumpkin boxes, right? And they're so good. So if you love paper pumpkin boxes, I know... A lot of you reuse your paper pumpkin boxes for other things. So the kits come in those boxes. Um, so this is a tag kit, and it's called the Love Santa Tag Kit. And you get 12 tags. And, you know, when I'm making tags for presents at Christmas, I want them to be pretty easy, right? Um, I mean, maybe a, a couple of fancy tag kits. Uh, tags for special people but for most people you know for the kids or whatever I just want something fast and that's what this is look how cute these are these would make great little cards too they're so cute I wish we had a stamp set like this but this is what it comes with um it has a stamp set let's see what the stamp set looks like love santa that's cute joy mary 
um, special delivery, two from Bright Christmas. Okay, and then you've got these glue dots. You get a block in every kit, twine, some um, rhinestones, and all the pieces you need to make the kits. The instructions are here as well. So you can order as many of these as you want. Um, somebody tell me how much it is. I forgot. Is it $19? Or is it, I can't remember. Somebody tell me. Um, but anyway, that's the new kit. There's another kit, another Christmas kit in there. This also has something you can add on, um, which are these treat bags. Look, and they're really cool. They're not like your, like our regular cello. They're like, um, like a mat, almost like wax paper I don't know not maybe like wax paper does it say what they are no it just says food safe but anyway those are cool so you can you know put your stuff in there tie your tag on boom you're done all right so that's an add-on to the kit um it's $19 okay that's what I thought the kids was stand that's what I thought $19 someone the other day said I was wrong about that but the kits with stamps are $19 and the other ones what are $12 is that right but this is $19, um, and then the bags are, <laughs> who's on it? Who's on it? Frosty, yeah, they are kind of frosted. Anyway, that's something you can order um, to get your Facebook Friday projects for free. Um, they just go on to a regular Stamping Up order, no subscription or anything, and they come like that. Fun to take, you know, if you're camping or um, maybe your daughter's having a slumber party. I don't know. It's just, they're easy. And I think that they would be fun um, to do with people, um, with friends or, I don't know. I just, th I thought that was a really good kit. I wanted to make sure you guys saw it. Okay, where are my comments? Um, somebody's going to tell me how much the bags are, right? Somebody's going to tell me. Um, okay. We've cleaned off the desk. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. If you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome. Uh, this week we are doing the gorgeous leaves over at pinkbuckaroo.com. Did anybody check? Did it go live? Um, there's a PDF for you under the last photo. It has, it's free doesn't cost you anything. It has um, all the supplies, the measurements, and the other things that I've talked about there, the links. It also has the host code. So if you like today's projects and you would like for me to send them to you as make and takes um, next week, I will send them to you for free with a $35 minimum order. And this is what they look like. Here's the Clever Cats um, kit. <laughs> it's got air in it. Let's make it flat. Um, it's got everything that you need, um, for today's make and takes, you'll need the, the dies. I'm not going to die cut any of those. Um, and you'll need the stamps and ink. I will do other die cutting. Like there's a heart. I'll send you the heart so you can see, you know, I'll cut other things, but not the leaves. You'll need the leaves and the stamps, ink and adhesive. Okay. Bags are $7. Thank you, Lori. I knew somebody would tell me. Oh, and I missed it. Several people told me. Thank you, Brandy and Joyce. Thank you. Um, seven dollars. The bags are seven dollars. How many are in there? I don't know. I don't know. You know, you'd think I'd be prepared for these things, wouldn't you? It says, what is it, 20? Feels like a lot. 12. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not 20, it's 12. So about 50 cents a bag. Okay, so anyway, if you want the make and takes, they come, they look like this, they are free. You don't pay anything for them as long as you put it in order by Monday at midnight. Um, $35 order minimum. I don't do any pre-stamping. That's just a thank you tag. Um, and you need to use that host code. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code um, because you will get stamping rewards and I will still send you these for free. Did, did you guys hear that? <laughs> that was a stack of ink pads that just fell behind the desk that we're going to use. So we're going to have to pause in a minute. I'm going to have to get down there and dig those out. I mean, they just freakishly fell off the back of the desk. Great. Okay. So, <laughs> and it looks like it was pumpkin pie and Cajun craze and pale papaya. The, the, the ones that I need right off the bat. Um, anyway, so there's that. Um, make sure your orders are in by Monday at midnight. Let's see if I can get down here to get the ink pads. You know, I recently cleaned up this desk down here, so it should be relatively easy. Hold, please. 
All right, well, maybe it was two. Let's see. Um, I think there might be another one down there, but whatever. Okay, we'll just make do. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on Facebook Friday. You never know. Okay, see, they were all stacked like this in a pretty stack. And I am missing one. What color am I missing? Crumb cake, early espresso. I swear I had pale papaya. I did. Oh, no, it's probably way down there. Hold on, did it fall into the window? Let's see. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It is as far as it could be. Okay, hold on. If only Pepper was trained. I got it! Yay! Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Yeah, Heidi, if only Pepper was trained. You know, Pepper is good about leaving her toys spread out all over the house. I told I told uh, my daughter yesterday, I need to train her to pick up her toys. She's pretty smart, but I just have a feeling she wouldn't do that. I don't think she, <laughs> I don't think she would. Okay, let's get started. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Take a deep breath. I just winded, got winded from crawling under the table. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with this card. And I may have actually posted this on my blog back in... Oh, look. That's not good. Um, I may have posted this back in August. This was one of, if not the first card I made when we got the holiday catalog. And as you can see, and you'll see on my blog, the sample has the Bedazzle paper that we used, I mean, that we had in uh, during celebration. Um, it's no longer available, obviously, but I know many of you have it, so you can use it. Um, if not, we're going to use just our brushed metallic gold foil, which is beautiful as well. All right, and we're going to use lots of different textures here. Um, I, we're going to use cork and craft and uh, metallics and... I don't know, we're gonna add some splatter. All right, let's get started. Let's see, where are my supplies? We're gonna need to do some die cutting first, and I will tell you, yesterday when I was making the clean recordings, this this is what I had, this like this. And so, do you see these little twigs back here? I assumed that it was this twig right here from the Nature's Harvest Eyes, because we are using this, right? We're using that. However, I realized today this was sitting on the counter because it belongs here. So that's actually the twig that I use. So in the clean recording, the twigs are much bigger than the originals. Hey, it's been like two months since I made the card, so I can't necessarily remember. All right, so we're gonna need two of those. Nature's Harvest, we're just using that one. Um, we're gonna cut out the leaf, this. Is this a maple leaf? Now, I live in South Texas, so you know all we have are oak trees and cedar trees. We don't have these big, beautiful leaves, so you guys will have to tell me what they are. And then this one, I have no idea. Who knows what that one is? We're going to do that from Cajun Craze. We're going to do the maple leaf from Pale Papaya. You know what? I want to show you guys something. Hold on just one second. Let's see. Where did I put it? Hold on. I've been wanting to show you guys this. You know, I call pale papaya peekaboo peach, right, forever. Look what I found way back in my cabinet. Peekaboo peach. And look, pale papaya. Peekaboo peach is much oranger than pale papaya. Isn't that funny? I can't believe, I don't keep retired cardstock, so I cannot believe that I had this. I thought it was so funny, and I thought you guys would would find that humorous. Look how nice they would look together. They, this needs to come back and this needs to stay and then we could use them together. They would be beautiful together. All right, sorry, sidetracked. Now I have cut out very vanilla label. This is from the succulent dies, okay? And then last but not least, the heart from Give It A Whirl. This one right here we're gonna do on our cork. All right, so let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. Now these dies will fit in your mini cut and emboss machine, cut and emboss machine. Um, but I am gonna use this one, the big one, so that I can do lots of them. All right, so let's see how many I can get on here. I think we're gonna have to do the gold one 
during the next sweep. All right, so get them all on there. Line them up. <laughs> yeah, Squirrel Debbie, exactly. Elaine, pale papaya is your favorite. I love it too, and I am not an orange person at all, but I do love it. I love it a lot. All right, so, oh, there it is. We've got one of those, so we're gonna do another one of those. We've got this one, and I've showed you guys this before. If you just drop your die, <laughs> that's the cheater method to get your dies out from the paper. Sometimes they'll do it, and sometimes they won't. Let's see. Yep. Now, I'm gonna leave the doodads in here because I kinda like the way that they look. Um, you can use your die brush to make them all come out, but I'm gonna leave them. Then we've got our cork heart. And then we've got, let's do, let's see if we can fit. You know, I really, I'm gonna cut this in half. For long dies, I like to, I want them to go in long ways. I don't, you know, I don't like to do like that because I don't think you get enough pressure. Um, when you go long ways, you get more pressure. All right, run those through. Move our machine, bring this over, and here we go. So brushed metallic. Any There's three colors in the brushed metallic um, paper pack, and I think any of them would be fine. Hello, Pepper, I already gave you your cookie. You don't need another cookie. I'm not talking to you. You're a bad girl. You are a very bad girl, aren't you? No, I'm so cute. I'm so cute. Okay, now let me get this over here. We're gonna, this is a piece of our craft cardstock. Um, craft comes in six by six, which I like because it's, you know, a little more manageable. We used to have it 12 by 12, but now it's just six by six. So I'm gonna stamp pepper, no. I'm gonna stamp the, is it a maple leaf, you guys? I'm gonna stamp the, what I think is a maple leaf in Cajun Craze right up here, okay? And then I am going to get from Cake, and I'm gonna get the splatter, the larger splatter, and we're gonna do crumb cake. And I'm just gonna, you know, I think I'm gonna do in the middle and then like stamp off there and do a little bit down there. Oh, well, maybe I want it a little bit darker there. Okay, most of that's gonna be behind, but I wanted just a little bit of something there. Now, dimensionals. And I'm gonna start with my gold. If y'all can hear that, that is Pepper. She is my miniature schnauzer who is spoiled rotten. Now see what I did with the dimensionals there? I put them on top, because that's gonna hold it down, but it's also gonna give us a chance to put the other things on top of it, okay? So these twigs, let's see, I'm gonna turn this one that way, and this one, Let's put that one right about there. Pepper, stop it. You're being very rude. Like that, okay. And then we're gonna put this maple leaf. I'm gonna put up a little bit higher like that. Um, this guy, I think I have put enough dimensionals. So what I'm gonna do is put just a little bit of adhesive right there. Okay, well, I said I was done with dimensionals, but I'm not. Enough, enough, you're being very rude. All right, so then let's put our cork heart right there. So now we're gonna stamp the label and put it right. Mm, that needs to go up a little bit. Let's see if we can get it to go up a little bit. Like that and that's gonna go right there okay so now early espresso the sentiment now this stamp set has no words so you're gonna have to pull from your other stamp sets and I am pulling the pretty pumpkins um, so thankful for you this you guys know I love this stamp set um, 
we had a Facebook Friday with Pretty Pumpkins just a couple weeks ago. So if you missed it, go back and find it. So thankful for you in early espresso. There we go. And then, I, you know, I totally, that was a total lie when I said, I think we've had enough dimensionals. It was a total lie because there's never enough dimensionals. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Now, I've got a very vanilla. Did I say that's very vanilla? I like to use very vanilla on my fall cards. Um, yes, Mom, I didn't see you. Yes. <laughs> Do you hear her? She's being awful. I don't know why she's doing that. All of a sudden, I already gave her her little chew thing. She walked three miles today. She's got no business being in here being noisy. All right, so dimensionals on a very vanilla card base. And then we're going to add a, oh, she went away. Okay, she went away. She gave up. A linen. No, mom, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. They will go crazy if you come in. Mac will go crazy. I think she's given up. Cut that. And a glue dot. This is linen thread. I'm gonna put that right there on the corner. But wait, there's more. Champagne rhinestones. I like champagne rhinestones with these fall colors. I think, you know, where's my take your pick tool? I think I need to find it because we're gonna need it. Hold on, is it over here? You know, I have several take your pick tools and they're never where I need them. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where it went. The one that has the sticky end. Anyways, put a few champagne rhinestones. No, nope, that needs to go a little bit higher. Like that. Thanks, Janet. What is the word that I, I am looking for here? I keep saying this card is like grunge but that's not the word what do you call it um vintage oh, i need my take your pick tool darn it it's got to be here somewhere um vintage it's not vintage what is the word i'm looking for the style of this card i couldn't think of it yesterday when i was making videos Let's see if I can do it. For some reason, this is like really difficult. This is the way we used to do it. All right, boom, there, done. Vintage, you think, Jennifer? You think it's shabby chic, Terry? Yes, you think? Rustic, Knit I think that's it, yes. Nitty, I think you're right. Um, I'm glad you like the colors, Bernice, I do too. So we had um, Cajun Craze, Pale Papaya, Gold, Early Espresso, Crumb Cake, and Quark, and Vanilla. <laughs> Just a few. All right, there we go, all right? So you can see the difference here with the bedazzle paper and the brushed metallic paper. Okay, now let's move on to our next card. Let's see, I need to get this tray. Let me get all of these out of the way. Now the next card you guys are gonna recognize because I cased myself. Have you guys ever cased yourself before? Truly, if you are ever feeling like you can't come up with something, you don't have an idea for a project, go back to your old projects. Find projects that you like, that you've done before, and just copy it. It's okay to case yourself. I do that all the time. So that's what we're doing with this card. Um, you might recognize this card. You guys remember from the spring when we did Shark Frenzy? Um, this is like a paint chip card is what I call it. It looks like the paint sample things you get at the hardware store. And so we're going to do it in fall colors. Isn't it beautiful in the fall colors? All right. All right. So let me get, we're going to need a little bit of grid paper here. And let me tell you the colors that we're going to do. Let me see. We're going to, and I love putting these little color swatches together. All right, we're gonna do pale papaya 
And then Mango Melody, which does not get enough attention in my opinion. I love that color. Pumpkin Pie, Cajun Craze, everyone's favorite. Just kidding. I know some of you don't like Cajun Craze, but I love Cajun Craze. Um, Mary Merlot, which is a color I don't ever, hardly ever use, and Cherry Cobbler. All right, what do you guys think of that? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we're gonna add some texture to a couple of them, not all of them, just a few. We don't wanna make it too busy. So we'll start down here at the bottom with a Cherry Cobbler, and we're gonna use the, see the three little leaves? We're gonna use those, and we're gonna stamp the texture, and turn your stamp as you go. Now, here's my problem with the new phone, you guys. Got the new phone because my old phone kept shutting down when I was making videos, which is very, very annoying. The new phone now, apparently, is recording videos in a different form or something. Um, you know, the big advertisement with the new iPhone is that um, the camera, the video camera is really good. So I thought, okay, you know what? That'll be good because I make a lot of videos. Let's see, we need pumpkin pie next. Um, the only problem is that apparently it makes them in really big format. Now I'm using pumpkin pie ink with the little splatters. So yesterday I did the clean recordings of all three of these projects, went to, was very happy because my phone didn't shut down, went to transfer them over to my phone and it's doing this weird converting. That's what it says, converting forever for like an hour and then nothing so if anybody out there knows how to change what setting i need to put my videos on so that it doesn't do that please let me know i googled it i don't understand what i read <laughs> okay um it's a little bit of tech language that i don't have the patience for so if somebody can just tell me that i need to put it on such and such setting and then it will just start transferring over to my computer and not doing this weird converting. Because it was like an all day debacle yesterday trying to get them, whoa, trying to get them transferred over. I know somebody will know. Um, okay, that was Mango, Melody, Pumpkin Pie, and the last one was, what did I say, Cherry Cobbler. Now get, you're gonna need, again, we're doing very vanilla. I've got a piece of very vanilla that is um, where's my piece of, that is four by five and a fourth, okay? So like a, a mat you would use on your um, card. And I'm gonna start spacing these out. Make sure that your adhesive goes all the way across. Yesterday, as I was chopping them, little pieces were falling off because I didn't make my adhesive go all the way across. All right, I'm gonna start here at the bottom and the top. And then I'm going to try to space them out in between, okay? Um, pale papaya at the top. Okay. Now, you want to make sure that they're equally distanced. Are you guys there? Because my computer just froze. Okay. Good. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. So I can already see that I'm going to have to move that first one down a little bit. Let's see. Will it come up? Will it come up? Will it come up? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. So, you know, I'm so bad at about measure once, cut twice, or cut, <laughs> measure twice, cut once. I'm the opposite. And then I make a lot of mistakes, but that's okay. Because our adhesive will be a little bit forgiving if you got to move them around. All right. So Mary Merlot, then we've got Cajun Craze. And then we've got a small glitch. Did it pause? Yeah, weird. I don't know why it paused. Everybody hold your breath. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Okay, pumpkin pie. Then, Mary, then uh, you know, one thing I should be doing is using my grid paper, yep, to make sure that these are not crooked because they look a little bit crooked. Grid paper comes in so handy. It will keep you in line. It's not just to mask off your table, your desk, to protect your surface. It also is a great tool, a measuring tool. All right. 
So let me look in the camera and see how that looks. I think it's, I think it's straight enough. <laughs> straight enough. We're going with straight enough. Now, you, I made the strips longer so that we could make sure that when we cut them off here, they would be exactly um, even with the edge of the paper, okay? And then I'm gonna cut them. You know, the last time that we did this card, I said the strip should be three-fourths of an inch, but then that was just a little bit too tight for our, our card. So we're gonna do five-eighths. And five-eighths is really hard to see on your trimmer, but there's the half. And the trimmer has so many lines. It has sixteenths of an inch. So you're gonna skip one tiny little line and go to the next one. So it's in between half and three fourths. Um, my eyes have a hard time seeing that. Okay, that looked smaller. Let's make sure I was on the right one. That's okay, we're gonna have leftovers anyway. Over five and eights, five eights. No. Yeah, that one was too small. Okay, so see what we've got? And you know what I meant to do? I wanna cut off that extra very vanilla at the top too. Let's do that. I don't want that hanging around. See up here where I had extra paper? We do not want that extra paper hanging around. Okay, all right. Back over here, five eighths of an inch. I really should label with a Sharpie those measurements because they are difficult to see. Okay, and you need five strips. Okay, and one more. We're gonna have leftovers, that's okay. I did cut that first one too skinny because I should only have one leftover, but look, now we've got these two skinny leftovers that we can do something with. Okay, so now you've got those strips and I'm gonna get my foam adhesive sheets. I love these foam adhesive sheets. And let's cut some strips. I don't think we need them to be that long. That's quite, that's a long strip. Let's see. Let's cut and then cut them in half. All right, so foam adhesive is basically like dimensionals, giant dimensionals, okay? And I like that all the little dimensional papers aren't everywhere with these. All right, now we've got a very vanilla card base. And the yellow strip, are you asking about the yellow strip on my trimmer? Um, it's, you know what, everybody always asks, every time I show that, it is washi tape, see right there? Washi tape, so that I can see the numbers right here. <laughs> yeah, and my eyes, I'm getting old. I know some of you know what I'm talking about. So, it just helps you see the numbers a little bit better. All right, foam adhesive, and I think, I think what we'll do, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be safe, better safe than sorry, and I'm gonna line them up and then I'm gonna take the adhesive off, okay? So we've got five of these. And we're gonna make them go, oh, I took the adhesive off the back. Oh, whatever. Okay, we'll start over here on the left side. All right, so this one, I'm gonna start down. So he's like kind of down towards the bottom, right? And then the next one is gonna be kind of up. So down and up, down and up. And let's see, at least I didn't remove the backing off of these three. Okay, and then this one will go right there. And this one will go. I heard some of you have snow today or this week. I was laughing last week when I said, no way you have snow already. But then I heard on the news, yeah, I guess it's about that time, isn't it? I know those of you that get a lot of snow, you're like, ugh, 
And so it begins. That's how I feel at the beginning of summer. Okay, so there we go. See how it's like <laughs> up, down, up, down. That's my little noise for that. All right, now, again, this uh, set does not have um, sentiments. So I am using Biggest Wish. I've been using this stamp set a lot. I love it. Um, if you don't like to fussy cut, and I know there are many of you out there that are like, nope, not going to do it, then just do a sentiment like on a strip or on a, you know, like a little banner or pennant or something, long and skinny, and it would, it would work just fine. But for this, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to outline it like this, and now I'm going to use the pencil line as my guide to cut out these words. Now, you guys, make sure you don't leave until I'm totally done today because I've got a bunch of cards to show you at the end um, using this uh, bundle. I got some in swaps and I also made, whoops, I also made some myself. Um, so I'll go through those and show you. Okay, I need to do this this way. There we go. Looks like it's gonna rain all of a sudden outside, I don't know. Now take your scissors, your um, paper snips. Now let me tell you about paper snips. My mother told me last weekend that she injured herself with her snips and that she, I mean, like she was really like, she hurt herself. <laughs> she said, they're like little razor blades. The, and I said, that's why they're so good. <laughs> so you guys, I'm not kidding. If you get these um, snips, they are very sharp. They are very good. But you also have to be very careful. If it comes down on you like that, it's going to hurt. So be careful. Keep the little um, covers on them. I forgot they come with covers because I took mine off. But yeah, that's probably pretty important because they are very sharp. My mother has the scars to prove it. think are they still on back order or have they come in they've been on back order since like july but i think this week they were supposed to come back in stock or maybe next week who knows maybe they're still floating out there and off the coast of california in the container ships all right now let me do a little bit more trimming right here there we go okay so the pencil line helps you, um, you know, you don't have to decide where to go as you cut. You have already done that with your pencil, so it takes the guesswork out of it. All right, this is another piece of craft cardstock, and it is, um, I may not have put that on the PDF. It's one by four, and I cut the ends at an angle, and we're going to put that down here like this. And then I've got a vellum label um, cut with the seasonal label dies. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Um, and I'm going to take my mini dimensionals and put those. This this um, very vanilla pumpkin was cut with those detailed detailed pumpkin dies. Is that what they're called? Detailed pumpkin dies. I thought I pulled them out. Oh yeah, here they are. The other half to that stamp set we used in the first project. Okay, detailed pumpkin dies. I also cut a craft leaf somewhere here. Do you guys see it? It's like camouflage on the table. Oh, there it is. With that die right there. So we're going to put that here like that. And then you can put dimensionals again on the back of this. You can hide them behind your pumpkin and put that, let's put it like it's sitting right there, right? And now we'll get our words and, oh my gosh, Donna, are you serious? <laughs> Donna says, I had to get stitches on my forehead because I tripped going up the stairs and fell on the trimmer I was carrying. Crafting can be dangerous. Donna, that is scary. 
Um, Terry, SNPs are not orderable. Estimated availability next week. Um, Donna, I thought you were going to say you tripped on the stairs with your paper SNPs and they went into your forehead. That would be really bad. <laughs> but still, you still had to get stitches. That's awful. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but oh my gosh. All right, dimensionals. It's terrible. Crafting can be dangerous. I had to have physical therapy um, on my elbow because I had gotten tendonitis from crafting from Big Shot and the trimmer and stuff. Yeah, people don't really, and you, you want to, <laughs> you want to see a physical therapist's face when you tell them that you injured yourself crafting. It's quite hilarious. And they, they say, now what, what were you doing? What? They don't get it. All right, we're gonna put that little craft leaf right there. And then last but not least, we're gonna bring that linen thread back. My favorite. Um, I think it was Debbie, you said that line will help you. It really does. Like you think that line, why, why would I put, you know, like how is that any different? Well, I think it's because it takes, you know, like the pressure off of you to have to guess where to cut as you're cutting. Cause you can't uncut once you've cut in the wrong place, right? And so if you put that pencil line there, you can erase if you go in the wrong place. Um, and that just makes it easier. All right, there you go. Now, remember we have these little pieces left right here. So let me cut that end off. You can take that and carry over that design over here on the side of your card, like that. I think I'll put that other one in here because I didn't, oh, that's the original. Here's the other one. I didn't do this yesterday. Um, so this card is fun. Think about the different colors you could do. Like I showed you at the beginning, I did brights. I think it was rainbow, right? Yeah, rainbows. And here we just did kind of all different oranges and, well, I guess reds. So, you know, think about it in a different ways. How could you do that to represent a season or a holiday or maybe, a, you know, school colors? I don't know. Um, it's fun. And it's, um, it's pretty easy to do, I think. All right, good. I'm glad you guys like it. Card number two is done. And now... For our final presentation, a 3D project for all my 3D people. I felt bad because we haven't done a card in several weeks. So I apologize to all my card people. You uh, are probably like, please do a card, lady. All right, but now we're back to the 3Ds. One 3D this week. This is what I call a double hinge box. The ribbon is a belly band and it slides off. You see that? And it opens like that. And inside are these Hostess Iced Pumpkin Cupcakes purchased from, I don't remember, Walmart, Target, H-E-B. I don't know. I've seen them everywhere. And look, there were how many in here? There were a bunch. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. I think my daughter had one. I thought maybe she had had more because when I opened it, it felt like there was a bunch in there the first time. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Now, also, Hostess makes a cupcake for every season. Um, so this box will fit every Hostess cupcake that comes out. You can always change the colors, change the tag, and you have a box that will fit the Hostess cupcakes, okay? All right, let's make the box first. Pepper has returned. Here she is. Let's see what she does. I'm gonna ignore her and we'll see. She's staring at me like she's expecting something. The other two are in here too, but they don't make much noise. Okay, you're gonna start with kale papaya. Yeah, Carla, I've actually had them for a while. Um, and I was like, oh no, we're done. But then I thought, oh no, we can use these for fall projects too. Um, okay, pale papaya. Uh, six and three fourths by six. Now remember, these are down here at the bottom of today's PDF. Um, so you don't have to write them down. You can go print that PDF. Um, it's free. All right, the long side, uh, we're gonna score at one and three fourths and four and a fourth. Am I on the long side? I am, right? Yeah, okay. And no, 
That's wrong. I'm looking at the other piece. Ugh. Hold on. I was looking at the very vanilla piece. Don't worry, I've got a piece right here. Right here. I was thinking that didn't sound right. I was distracted by a little monster down here. Okay, here we are. Let's go again. Six by six and three fourths. What you're gonna do on this side, I mean on this piece, is score one and three fourths on all four. Okay, so turn, 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 one and three fourths, one and three fourths, one and three fourths, like that. Then the score lines that I was doing was this piece. You're gonna need two of these. These are very vanilla, um, five and a half by six. Um, the long side you're gonna score at one and three fourths and four and a fourth. Turn it, one and three fourths and three and a half, okay? Let's do that again to the second one. On the long side, one and three fourths, four and a fourth, turn, one and three fourths, and three and a half. Uh-oh, oh well. Pepper, go pick that up. Can you pick that up for me? She's like, no, I cannot. All right, now, <laughs> you would love to see Pepper. Um, she would love for you to see her too, I think. Um, maybe maybe at the end. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Okay. You know what? We're going to do this part second. Let's do this part first. This is the easy part. Now you're going to need, let me get all of my little clothes pens. Um, you're going to need your bone folder and your strong adhesive of choice. I'm using liquid glue. It is ridiculously humid here. So I find liquid glue is the best. Once you've burnished those lines, Cut from, you're gonna cut the corners off diagonally right here, okay? So score line to score line, score line to score line on all four. Okay, then we're gonna snip those score lines on the ends. She, you know, she used to be pretty well behaved. And now she's like a little spoiled teenager. And she's, what, what are you, like 20 months? Almost two. She's not a baby. It's my dog, in case some of you are wondering. Not my child. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, okay, you're my child too. All right. Um, I'm going to put this, this adhesive... Oh over here on the outside of these triangles. Pepper, hush. I'm gonna call Jamma to come get you. She probably like that. Make you go hang out with Millie. Now, fold those in like that, and then just pull up the ends. So you're pushing those onto the inside of the ends. And then the reason I have these clothes pens is because they will hold them in place while they dry. All right, so fold those in. I have to stop talking to her because she thinks, she probably, I mean, that's what she probably thinks. So I'm just up here talking to her, not you guys. Okay, so there's the bottom of the box, all right? Now, the hinge is a little bit tricky only because it looks, it's hard to tell which part is which. Um, you have a section, so this section right here is two inches. That's the section that's gonna fold over the top of the box. This section over here is one and three fourths. That's the section that's going under the box, okay? <laughs> so on the one and three fourths, well, let's burnish it first. On the one and three fourths inch section, you're gonna cut the squares off, okay? So here's the larger section on the opposite side where the one and three fourths is. We're gonna cut those squares off, okay? <laughs> um, Oh yeah, you know, Karen, my mom actually has a video, a really old video she did a long time ago for me on watercoloring, way back when she still lived in Memphis. But maybe she should come and do a Facebook Friday with me. All right, so then over here, you need to cut these corners off as well. She has a YouTube channel, mom, don't you? You still have your YouTube channel? She teaches online classes um, for watercolor painting. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna cut these. Suddenly that doesn't look right, but it's right. We're gonna cut 
we're gonna cut from this corner up to that score line and that score line up to that corner, okay? Like that and like that. Then you're gonna cut it in half down at score line, okay? So then do the same thing over here. Yeah, Pepper, poor little Pepper. I know she's so spoiled. She says, so nobody's holding me, so I must cry. And then we're gonna cut that right there, okay? So that's what these pieces look like. And what you're doing is you're folding these in and those two triangles are gonna come together like that, all right? So put some adhesive. <laughs> June, you want to see, you think my mom should be on Facebook Live too. Yeah. She's, she does a lot of online stuff. She'd probably be cool. She'd be like, all right. I don't know if she's still on here. Um, so fold these in like this, okay? Like that. And I need, I need more of these, but I think that box has had plenty of time, so we'll hold that. Okay, so now let's do one more. What time is it? Oh, it's already, it's only three. I'm gonna get done in a reasonable amount of time today, I think. Well, we still have to make the tag. All right, so remember, the two inch section, that's this section. That, we're gonna go to the opposite section. Cut off the squares. You've got to do two of these because you're doing both sides of your box, okay? And then cut off the corners here. This is going to keep the bottom part from sticking out um, from the bottom of your box, which my original I didn't do and I can see it sticking out and I don't like it. Okay, a little point, cut in half. Now, you guys, there's clean recordings of this, which means there is a video of each of these projects over on my YouTube channel without all the chit chat, without Pepper crying, without the squirrel moment. So if you wanna make this, go over there and watch that video and you'll probably be a little bit easier to understand. Um, now, one thing I did notice when I was editing is that I have a hard time staying in the frame when I'm cutting these pieces. Um, so hopefully I stayed in the frame enough over there. All right. And there we go. All right, so there's your two lids. They're gonna go on the bottom of the box like that and close up. Okay, but while those dry, let's do the tags real quick. We need to bring back that grid paper, which is right here. I've got two very vanilla circles that are um, two inches, okay? And we are going to, this is the one that I want. We are going to add, oh my gosh, it really is gonna storm. It's really dark all of a sudden. We're gonna add in some ink. One thing I did, you know, again, you guys, I do this and then I forget what I've done. By the time I go to make the video, I can't remember. But what I did, I'm gonna do this a little bit different than I did in the other video. You're gonna stamp that leaf in the middle of one of those circles. Then you're going to stamp it again on just scrap paper. Then get the little splatter and add a little bit of splatter on both circles. Okay. And we'll do some pumpkin pie. And you can, you know, like stamp off, stamp full strength like that. All right. Now, what I did is I used um, my layering circle. So this was a two inch circle. This one is good, we're gonna leave that. Um, but we're gonna take that two inch circle and take the one and seven eighths inch and cut the center out of it to make a ring. This isn't a shaker. It could be a shaker if you wanted it to. You just put a window sheet underneath it. Let's see, I was gonna use my mini cut and emboss machine and I am not seeing it. Oh, here it is. Okay, and then we're gonna use the leaf die. If I can find that. And I'm gonna do this right here. And then this one, you know, let's move that over. And then this one, you're gonna cut the leaf off of the scrap. 
right? The reason I the reason I stamped it on the circle is because it has some splatter around it that goes with it, but that gets cut off when you when you die cut it. So let me show you. So see how there's a little bit of leftover splatter. I guess you probably don't have to cut it. I mean, don't have to stamp it, but I did. And then we'll adhere this one on that one, pop it up, or you could just leave it blank. I don't know. You decide. So now what I'm talking about is <laughs> Charlie's been cleaning Pepper's face. She's got like crazy eyebrows. He is our like little nurturer. He has to clean them all up. All right, so see how I, I popped that up on there and you can see some of the edge stamped around it. Um, okay, now mini dimensionals. If you wanted to turn this into a shaker, what you would do here is you would put a ring of foam adhesive around it, put a window sheet circle here, put whatever you're gonna put on the inside inside and then sandwich them together. But we're just gonna do a border, popped up border. All right, and then we are gonna get our sentiment from, did I not pull that stamp set out? Threw it together. I have been using the heck out of that stamp set and I love it. If you haven't looked at that one in the annual catalog, you need to look at it. It's called Threw It Together. It's got a bunch of really nice little sentiments that are all skinny like this. So whenever you need just something skinny and little, it's a good one for that. All right, let's see if I can do this. I'm just gonna cut this as a skinny strip. And if it would have helped if I had, let's see, do you think I could do it? Mm, there we go. It would have helped if I had stamped it straight, but I didn't. That's all right, we fixed it. All right, now I'm gonna just cut these like that at an angle, get my Tombow like that, put that across. And this one says, you are loved today and always. Okay. Now I've got a crumb cake scalloped circle and we're gonna put that right on there. And there's your tag. Okay, nice, soft, subtle colors. All right, let's get our, where did I put it? Our Hostess Cupcake, like that. And we'll get our little hinged lids. And what I like to do is go ahead and put that hinged lid on there like that, so that you know, see like that? So that you know you're gonna glue those in the right spot. I mean, you probably would do it in the right spot anyway, but this just makes sure that it's in the right spot, okay? And there's your box. It opens up like that. Fun, right? All right, now, last but not least, let's tie it all together with our pale papaya ribbon. Oh, Becky, that's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Next week, you guys, we're doing Encircled in Warmth. Is that, is that what it's called? It coordinates with that bundle, in, Encircled in Friendship or friend, Encircled. It's a sentiment stamp set in the holiday catalog that coordinates with a, a bundle in the annual catalog. I'm going to punch a hole just in the crumb cake here. I've already got two of the projects done. And so I've got to come up with one or two more. So that'll be next week. It'll be Christmas. Um, whoops, I didn't give that enough time to dry. Um, so I'm gonna take the very vanilla twine from the Twine Essentials Pack, Everyday Twine Pack. What's it called? Essentials Baker Twine. And we're gonna tie it to the bow. Now I just punched that hole in the crumb cake scallop circle so that you wouldn't see the hole 
in our beautiful little framed tag. All right, and there you go. Now, I was thinking these would make, you know me, these would make nice teacher gifts. The teachers are dying right now, you guys. I mean, they are struggling. This year is apparently harder than last year. Everything's difficult. Everything's hard. Everything is complicated. Kids are way behind. Teachers are having to go through a bunch of training. It's just like, it's, it's hard. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> it was behind my iPad. Um, so if your child has a teacher, send them this. Send them a treat. Even like... Like on a Tuesday, when it's not even a special occasion, just to brighten their day. Because I'm telling you, what I'm hearing from my teacher friends is quite scary about the, the situation in the school. And uh, they deserve our appreciation for sure. But you can also give this to anybody, right? Anybody, anytime. Okay, but don't leave yet. But wait, there's one more thing. A couple more things. Um, I got a few, I have a few more. Denise, are you on here? Denise made these beautiful cards. She helps me make birthday cards for my team. And these are the cards she made this month. So beautiful. I love, she used that timeless, timeless type embossing folder in the back. Um, and I love the color she chose. So I was thinking I would case that and use it for today, but I ended up not using it. But anyway, I used pretty much the same colors. Cajun Craze, not the same colors as hers, but colors I used today. Cajun Craze, I guess that's Cherry Cobbler, Soft Suede, and Old Olive. But a birthday card. She used the sentiment from the, um, oh, the ice cream stamp set. All right, pretty, really pretty, Denise. And then this was a swap that I got. No, is this a swap or is this somebody sent this to me? Somebody sent this to me. Who was it? I can't remember. Isn't it beautiful? It doesn't have anything on the inside. I lost the note. I left, I dropped it or something. It's probably over there on my counter, but isn't that beautiful? Or was this in the swap? I can't remember now that I've mixed them all together. I don't know, but I like it. Look, they did the same thing, the background, kind of like I did on mine. See, it makes, it, it, the stamp set makes great, um, like if you're gonna make your own paper, you know, you stamp all the pattern all over your paper. Beautiful. Um, here's a swap. Now, Anne Marie, are you on here? I saw it. Um, she was on here. I don't know. She does our team swaps, and I don't know whose is whose, but um, there were several this month that used this set. That's beautiful. Look at all those layers. That's a that's a beautiful um, swap card. And this gorgeous one is Anne Marie's. Isn't that beautiful? Anne Marie's always does an amazing job. Look how she did that two tone on those leaves. Wow, beautiful. Here's one. I don't know who this is. Do they have the names on the inside? I don't think they do. I like the leaf in white. Oh, Anne Margaret. Yes, Anne Margaret. Good. Her name was on the inside. She um, is on my team also. That look. Oh, she used that shimmer paper too. I have got to use that shimmer paper. I haven't used it yet. I love that layout. Beautiful. Here's a card that I did for the swap. And I will have this on my blog on Monday. All right, so there's that. I use the cork for the leaf, and that's that Blackberry Beauty paper. Um, cinnamon cider just looks so good with early espresso, doesn't it? And then here's a card that I didn't finish because <laughs> I didn't like it. I embossed, and then it's white, and it's vanilla, and I was like, meh. So look, sometimes I don't do a project that's all that great. There's proof for you right there. Okay, now you have lots of ideas for gorgeous leaves. I hope I've inspired you. If you haven't ordered it, it is available. It was on back order for a while, but now it's in stock. And I think it's one that you will use quite a bit um, seasonally and, you know, other times during the year. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Remember, go grab the PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, it has the host code here. If you would like me to send you the three make and takes, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want. It doesn't have to be this. It could be anything. Um, as long as I see that you've put in an order, you go on my list. Um, host code, Monday at midnight, $35 or more. And I believe that's it. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me today. And I will see you next Friday, two o'clock. Bye, guys.